We are now going to prove the theorem. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. We have our quadrilateral, which is a kite, A, B, C, D. Oops, let's see there, D. And that we know, because of the definition of a kite, that A, B is going to be congruent to uh, C, B, and likewise, A, D, and C, D are going to be congruent. So, again, we restate the given. These lines are, these segments here are congruent to each other because it's a kite. And we also, by construction here, we put a line in here, A, or excuse me, B, D, which is congruent to itself because of the reflectives, reflexive power or property. And from that, we know that we've already identified that this side, so we got three sides, side, side, side. So triangle B, A, D, and B, C, D are congruent because of side, side, side. And like, therefore, B, uh, A and C, angles A and B, uh, B, excuse me, angles A and C are congruent because there are corresponding parts of these two uh, congruent triangles which we just uh, identified. Next, we're going to make an assumption. We're going to do an indirect proof now to say that this angle, B and D, are congruent. All right? Because we're going to end up proving that they are not, but the way to do that, I'm going to assume that they are. So, if we assume that they are, therefore, then, this quadrilateral A, B, C, D is going to be a parallelogram because if a quadrilateral, the opposite angles, if the opposite angles are congruent, then it's a parallelogram. Well, we know it's not a parallelogram because we were just told at the given that it is a kite. Therefore, angle B does not, is not congruent to angle D because A, B, C, D is a kite. So we have just proven that exactly one pair of congruent angles, uh, uh, opposite angles, are congruent. This one and this one.